Good morning, everybody in North America. Good evening to those of you in the UK, Europe, uh, <laughs> wherever you are, wherever you are. Our theme today is grace, G-R-A-C-E. And the reading is taken from Song of Songs, chapter 1 and verse 11. We will enhance your beauty and circling you with our golden reins of love, you will be marked with our redeeming grace. Do you notice the two words there? We touched on one yesterday, the word we and the word our, our redeeming grace. We're talking about the Trinity. The Trinity is involved in our salvation. Yes, Yeshua, Jesus, is our Savior. For God the Father so loved us, he sent his Son, and then he gave us the promise, uh, which is called the promise of the Father, the Holy Spirit, to, to give that inner witness inside of us, that um, down payment, uh, the signature, if you like, of his covenant towards us. And... Uh, Oh, I'd love to take you into the DNA of this because it's so wonderful. It is so wonderful. And uh, I just love the living letters. I love the way the Lord hides his mysteries. And uh, before we came on air, I was looking at uh, the key numbers. Uh, there's a program on uh, our TV. Well, there's a couple of programs. But there's one where uh, this lady interviews certain people that don't know their father or, you, you know, what ethnicity they are. And uh, they take their DNA code and check, you know, the worldwide uh, records of DNA. And I don't know how they do it, but because of the numerical system, you know, that God has framed everything in numbers. He measured, he measured, he uh, measured the earth with a span. There was measurement involved in everything. And in our salvation, there's measurement. There's, there's the DNA. You can trace your DNA in our salvation. Um, we have, or the Lord has, clothed us in garments of salvation. And right here in this uh, opening verse, in the Passion Translation anyway, it says, we will enhance your beauty, encircling you, encircling you. So God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit dwells within us in these urban tabernacles, in these tabernacles of clay, in these weak vessels, God chooses to dwell within us, but not only dwell within us, but encircle us. Do you remember on the on the day of Pentecost in Acts chapter 2, it says the house was filled. They were filled. The house was filled. And they began to speak in tongues and uh, fire, tongues of fire, as it were. I mean, the writer's trying to explain something in an earthly term, with earthly words that don't do it justice. But the only way he could relate to it was fire. Fire came upon their heads. And uh, we are encircled. You are encircled with fire. Now, if you, if you can just align your faith and believe and release your trust and your faith in him, remember we've been talking about being completely surrendered to him, you are in the most safest place. You are in the most safest place when you are encircled with him. Jesus said, don't fear him that can kill the body. Fear him that has power over the soul. No uh, enemy, no powers of darkness, no principalities have power over your soul. Nothing can separate us. Let me say it again. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. Isn't that wonderful? 
And we'll just go into that uh, a little bit later. I just want to go over these key numbers, the number 15, the number 12, and the number 14. And when you add all those up, it comes to, let me see, it comes to 41, 41. And 41 is the number in Hebrew of mother. And the mother is the one who gives birth gives birth and we'll go a little bit deeper into that as well um so it's fascinating that we don't work for our salvation it's not by our own merits our own efforts it's everything that he has done our responsibility is to believe and even the believing comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. In other words, we have a choice to accept. We have a free will. We have a choice to accept. We have a choice to embrace what the Lord says about us. Or we can go our own way and make our own gods, small g. But I'll tell you something. <laughs> I'll tell you something. There's nothing, nothing on earth or in heaven or under the earth that can compare this with this wonderful song of songs, this wonderful song that's been written throughout the ages, that was written in blood for you and I, that he so loved you, he so loved me, that he sent his only begotten son, that whosoever, don't you love that word, whosoever? It doesn't depend on what, what, uh, status you were born into, whosoever, from the gutter to the uttermost, salvation, that number 14, salvation, isn't it wonderful? He's done it for us. He's encircled us with his love. He has, how do we call it, we will enhance your beauty. And what is that beauty? It's the garments of salvation. The garments of salvation, put on your garments of salvation, are they washed in the blood, in the, what is it, the cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Do you remember Exodus 12, the very first uh, festival or a feast that they, the, the Jewish people celebrate is the feast of uh, uh, Passover, when they put the blood on the lintels, on the doorposts and the lintels, it says that the angel of death passed over them. Why? It was a, it was a picture of God's new covenant salvation. The only difference with the old and the new is that he says, I will put my laws within you, talking about the new, I will put my laws within you. I will write my laws on your fleshly tablets of your heart. Amen. Now, what is a law? It's not just a dead um, commandment that you have to do. It's living. It's backed up with the life of God. God fulfills his law. God watches over his word to perform it. And he is actually, his nature is in that very law that he works through you. So that's why Paul said, you know, working in you or working out what God has worked in you. Amen. He is working in us both to will, to want to, to act, and to do. Amen. Amen. So there we go. That's, our, that's the, this wonderful grace, this wonderful song of songs is a love song. It's a love song. Dearly beloved, it's a love song. And God loves you and I so much that not only did he send his son, he enabled by his spirit that you and I may be able to walk this out in newness of life. I no longer live. Galatians, he lives in me. He, the son of God, the lamb of God, lives in me. Oh, wonderful salvation, wonderful, wonderful 
salvation. There we go. There's the intro for tonight. <laughs> There's the intro for tonight. And um, let's go and say hello to some people. You, you know, it is very, very important that we say hello to people. Ah, uh, let me see now. Where's my arrow gone? Um, there you go. Um, now, Gaylan is the very first one on. Uh, good noon. Good noon to you, Gail. From Florida, many blessings to you. Now, did I hear right that uh, you've not been too well, uh, Gail? Let me just pray for you right now in the name of Yeshua. Full healing, Lord, full restoration, physically, in a spirit, man, in a physical body. Full restoration. Let the grace of God, let the love of God surround her. Let the power of God come upon her. In the name of Yeshua. Margie Hug, good morning, Margie. Everyone, so glad to be with all of you. Joining from Broken Arrow. <laughs> Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Oklahoma, here I come. <laughs> no, that's California, isn't it? That's California. Uh, I do apologize, Margie. <laughs> uh, Barbara Pugh, Friday again. Oh, I, I love Friday again, restful weekend in the garden tomorrow. Wow, wow. I love, I love Fridays. I love Fridays. <laughs> I love TG Fridays as well. Thank God it's Friday. You know, the restaurants, I love that. I, you know what I love? I love that sauce that they put on the meat. Uh, <laughs> no, let's not go there. Let's not go there. We're going to get too hungry. Um, it's Friday again. Do you know what I love? Do you know what I love about doing these uh, uh, six week uh, segments, Monday to Friday? Usually when I get about to the fourth week, I begin to, you know, you begin to sort of, you need a fresh wave, as it were, to take you over the other two weeks. But there's something about when I get to Friday, Friday evening, and I do the devotion, uh, well, it's usually steak night, but John Mark's in Switzerland, so uh, <laughs> unless I can get Debbie to come over and do the steak. Maybe Debbie will come over and do the steak. <laughs> I'm joking, Debbie. I'm joking. Um, it, it's just that wonderful feeling at the weekend. You know, the weekend is here, and Saturday is my Sabbath. You know, I know Sunday. I know the Christians, we take Sunday, but I still... I still think of Saturday as a Sabbath, of a rest day. Seven days, I was reading somewhere that your body, uh, it, I forget the word that you use, or the pulse, your heart pulse slows down on the seventh day. And uh, the problem with a lot of sickness today in the world is people are neglecting God's uh, uh, time clock. You know, the time clock that he's put in our bodies. There's one day, six days you shall labor, seventh day you shall rest. And on that seventh day, according to the uh, what I've read, your body slows down, your, your heart rate slows down. Uh, and if you don't, if you don't, you know, and you continue to work seven days a week, eight days a week, eight days a week, is not enough to show I care. <laughs> if you continue to work around the clock, then your body will enforce the rest. Let me say that again. If you continue to neglect, you know, your body, the clock in your body, and you're working seven days a week, you will pay for it down the road. You will, your body will shut down and force you to rest. Now, you don't want that, do you? You don't want that. I just want to move in God's timetable. I want to move with his flow. And, uh, you know, anyway, anyway, we're, I don't know why we said that, but we said it. Amen, amen, amen. Okay, uh, Debbie back uh, Friday again. Don't forget that, Friday. Um, evening one and all. Joe Costello, good morning, Joe, from Pennsylvania. And Mary Costello, shalom and peace, everyone. Oh, I receive that right now. Just receive it, receive it. Receive it as people speak it. Shalom, shalom, 
shalom, let rest come upon you, let peace come upon you, let healing come upon you, let restoration come upon you, all wrapped up in that word. Fire on the government that's attached to confusion. Any confusion you're going through, any stress you're going through right now, in the name of Yeshua, let that shalom, let those letters that spell shalom, the fire, the government, Fire on the government, that little varb that's a nail attached to a closed mem, which is anything in your past that you don't even know, anything in your bloodline right now, let that shalom deal with it. Let the shalom of God deal with it right now in the name of Yeshua. There it goes, there it goes. Whew. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, I love it when the Lord takes over. I love it when he takes over. I love it when he takes over. And we get out of the program. We need programs. I'm not against programs. We need programs. But I love it when he, you know, <laughs> when, when he interrupts, not interrupts, but you know what I mean. When he breaks in and he takes us a different way. Ding dong, boing, hey and a ho. Yay. Amen. Amen. Mary Costello. Happy Friday. Shalom. Peace, everyone. Luan Wyman, blessings to all from Nebraska. Cold here, freeze warnings. I know we're still not in. It's the same here, uh, Luan. Uh, it starts off in the morning a little bit warm and then suddenly you can get a cold spell. You know, it's still fluctuating. We're still not in the fullness of it. Uh, we're still in the spring, aren't we? We're not into the summer yet. Kimo, Latin, 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 Latin. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Kimo. Sorry, Kimo. I'm trying to pronounce your name. Very difficult for us who speak English. Very difficult for you trying to speak English. I do admire you, Kimo. I admire the fact that you can, you know, that we can understand you. We can understand you. I mean, how many of us can speak Finnish? <laughs> there you go. Um, right. Uh, why are you saying Kimo? The high, high of the day session with John and friends. We also had a good... You don't have to get around on these restaurants, Kimo. You had a Nepalese, Nepalese lunch. What's that like? Is that spicy? Oh, I tell you, I tell you, I... I ah, you don't have to get around. What is it? Variety is the spice of life. Madeline Kirby, good noon from Florida. Had nice rain this morning. It's raining right now. Raining right now, Madeline. Um, Judith Boone, happy Friday from Kansas City. Thank you, Judith. We received a smile. Though your heart is aching. Smile, though your heart is breaking. La, 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 la. I don't know why I'm singing. I'm singing it. Anyway, there you go. Happy Friday from Kansas City. Larry Pearson, Niagara region. Blessings be upon you, citizens of the kingdom. Ding dong. Boing. Hey and the ho. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> oh. oh, Actually, number 12 is government, which is kingdom. And it's everything to do with that. When you get to see what kingdom means, when you get into the Hebraic and you begin to see what kingdom means. Oh, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. It is wonderful. What is wonderful? It's a wonder full of. <laughs> full of wonder. Okay, there you go. Good good morning, good afternoon to you, Larry. Great to have fellowship with you. Diane Evelyn Clark, hello, John and Worldwide Saints, blessings, everyone. Diane is one of those people that loves to get up at 3 a.m. in the morning and pray for us all. <laughs> To Linda Evelyn, uh, good noon day from sunny Indiana post rain storm, meaning that you had a rainstorm and it's now sunny. It's not a nice time when that happens because it, there's almost like a freshness about it, isn't it? It clears the air, it clears the air of any heaviness, and you're left with that wonderful. And you sometimes you can smell, you can smell. The flowers and the ding dongs and the boings and the haze and the hoes. 
Richard Pauls from Sydney, Australia. Now, I've got to think about this one, Richard. What time is it there? Uh, it's evening here. That makes it early in the morning over at your side, doesn't it, uh, Sydney? Early in the morning. Early in the morning. And it makes it Saturday already. You're into Saturday. I love it. You know what I love, Richard? I love it when it's New Year's Eve and and then they give it, you know, it's already, the year's already started for you, you know, and we're still way behind. Uh, Gaylan, thank you for the prayer. Much appreciate. You're welcome. You didn't hear anything, Debbie. <laughs> uh, Joyce, 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 you're late. You're late. You're late. <laughs> for a very important date. Ding dong, boing, hey and a ho to you, Joyce. Kimmo, it was nice to sleep later and have rest on Friday and Saturday. Okay, okay, you don't need to you don't need to get us all jealous now, Kimmo. You don't need to get us all jealous. <laughs> but uh the weekend starts here. Enrique, good uh Western where's that? Western Florida. Western Florida, am I correct, Enrique? Welcome. Welcome to you, Enrique. Uh, Cindy Cox from Kenosha. Kenosha. I have a lot of fond memories of Kenosha, Cindy. Uh, there was um, there was a couple that we knew uh, that used to go to the same church before. Oh, I'm going back a few years, but the daughter moved, married somebody from Wisconsin and moved out there. And when Jean and I were out there a couple of years ago, uh, we met up with them. So Kenosha's got, you know, we've got, we've got, we've got, we know people in Kenosha. Kenosha, wonderful church there as well. It was changed, wasn't it, to, was it Impact? It, did it change its name to Impact from Tabernacle? Something or other. Anyway, no doubt you'll tell me. Wow, Richard, it's 2.25 a.m. here. 2.25, wow, wow. Go to sleep, la la la. La 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 la. Okay, let's go over. I have to go to the. I have to go to the overhead for this because, and I, oh God, oh God, I pray, I pray. Don't let this be boring for people. Don't let it be go over their heads. May they grasp it. May you give them a hunger, Lord, for your Hebraic, for the roots, for what we have been grafted into, from where our roots come from, Lord. Give each one of us a hunger for you. Now, a few, uh, a week or two ago, I, I can't keep up with the weeks, but uh, you're from Lake, yeah, Lake Shark Tabernacle, that was it. They changed their name, Cindy, to, yeah, Encounter, The Encounter. Yeah. I was there a couple of years ago. Um, now, I like to, I love the, I love the Passion Translation, but I also love the ESV Strong's. Because as I told you the other night, I can go into, um, let me see if I can take you over there. Just stick with me now as we go over. I can take you, there are three key words for me for here from the ESV. Uh, the first one is, well, let me see if I can get it on here first. Just bear with me. Um, I'm just going to. Okay, verse 11. We're in Song of Songs, verse 11. One verse 11. Okay. Now, in the ESV, Strong's, Let me see if I can attach. I haven't attached my. Um, stick with me a tick. It's a Friday night, so. Oh, what am I doing there? I'm doing something wrong. There you go. <laughs> uh, I just wait for this to come up on camera. Uh, I'm hoping it will. Yeah, there it goes. I just stick with me a tick. Yes, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. Um, Okay, if we look at, look at the Strong's here, uh, verse 11, we will make for you ornaments of gold 
studded with silver. And we looked at that word studded this morning. Uh, but I, I just want to take this word make and uh, it's a primitive root and in the broadest sense, sense and widest application its meaning is to accomplish we will accomplish for you now this we is the trinity now let me just go to the overhead because I want to just show you these letters in a um, we will make or accomplish okay now let me just come down here I've got to make sure that you can see this on screen it begins with an ayin and that letter is a seeing letter don't forget that all the letters have picture value they have number value it's 70 and then look at this this fire this fire this this letter sheen here is 300 and it that's its code value don't forget a code is something that opens up something to you it opens up something that's hidden something that's locked that's where dna comes in dna is a numerical value really and it was uh, invented or discovered by well he laid the foundation he's known as the father of dna he didn't uh, other people came along and built on it, but he laid the foundation for it. And he laid the foundation for it by studying peas, <laughs> studying garden peas in a monastery. Uh, I'm trying to think of his name. It slips my mind. Anyway, it will come to me, and no doubt one of you will tell me. Um, he studied garden peas in a monastery. <laughs> I know. I know when I first heard that. I thought, this guy must be crazy. He must be crazy. Why didn't he study the word? Because you see, in creation, in Romans 1 verse 20, it says that uh, God has revealed, God has revealed his nature, his, uh, you know, he's a spirit, and we can't see a spirit, but you can see who he is, his character, his nature, by what he's created. And we are created in his image, okay? So, and when he created, it, the psalmist in Isaiah says, uh, he, he, uh, what, what is it? He, how did, how did it go? He created by a span. He measured, he measured with a span, the heavens. And he scooped the waters up in the palm of his hands. He measured everything. He told, he told Abraham when he made a covenant with him, if you can count, if you can count the, the sand, the, uh, oh, oh, the grains of sand, or the stars, so shall your seed be. Do you understand that? Do you understand that we are not just a minority here, that... that our seed, both in heaven and on earth, is innumerable. Innumerable. That's what John saw in Revelation. He saw an innumerable company. In other words, he couldn't number it. He couldn't number it. And God, in his mercy and in his grace, has provided for us. We will make... This word make, let me go back to it. Uh, this word make, don't forget we go from right to left. This is the ayin, it's a seeing letter. This is a letter fire, full of fire. It's 300 in value. And what's the other? And this, oh, I love this letter. This letter is a letter I never, never fully understood. When I started to move in these realms, and especially in the new wine and in the intoxication. And God brought me into his house of wine and intoxicated me with his love. And then I would shout out this letter, hey, hey, hey. It's a covenant letter. It's the breath of God. It's the breath of God. It's the life of God. 
that he breathed into Abraham and into Sarah so that they could fulfill. He fulfilled it for them. They couldn't fulfill it before. The promises, the covenants that God made with them. I will make your seed numerous. And he tried. He tried in his own efforts. And Ishmael was born out of his own efforts. And for 15 years, Ishmael took over the promise And it was all works, 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 works. And then it wasn't until Abraham became a hundred that God fulfilled it and put these letters up from his very own name, Yahweh. From his very own name, he took the two Hays, put one in Abraham's name, one in Sarah's name, and it gave them the ability to bring forth. Isn't that wonderful? And it's the same with with our salvation. It's the same with our salvation. It is finished. It is finished. And it's through the grace of God. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, oh, I just ding dong, boing, hey and a ho. Okay, come come, come on, come on, come on. Let's carry on. It's Friday and we have got to finish. Um, (laughs) Oh, dear me. Okay, so I will make... Now, oh, I'm right now, I haven't took you over. I will make ding dong, boing, hey and a ho. Uh, you like that, Kimmel? You like that meaning accomplished? It's accomplished. It is finished. That was his last words on the cross. It is finished. Now, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, we won't count the noughts. Let's cross the noughts off. So, seven. And 3 is 10, and 5 is 15. 15, I mean, what's very interesting as well, because it, uh, if I go 1 plus 5 equals 6, 6 is the number of man. Okay, but 15, in Hebrew, we've been talking about this. We've been talking about this in the mornings. 15 is, it's a sign, it's a, it's a code of something hidden, something hidden, pointing to something hidden, and it's to do with man, and it's to do with his salvation. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that a ding-dong, a boing, a hey and a ho now? Quickly, quickly, let me go back to, I'm having to go back and forth here, let me go back to the ESV here. So, we will make, we will accomplish, we, the Trinity, will accomplish for you ornaments. Now, this word ornaments, let me have a look at this word ornaments. It is, um, what's it say? It's a string, order, border, row, uh it, well, let's let's let me take you to the paper. Let me take you to the overhead. Uh, this word, uh, what did it say? Ornaments. It it starts again. We're going from right to left. It starts with the last letter of the Hebrew alphabet. It's that accomplished. Okay, it's it's. You know, it's the last, it's complete. Aleph to Tav, we say in Greek, Alpha and Omega. We say in English, A, and you say in America, Z. We say Z. <laughs> right? A to Z, A to Z, completion, okay? Ornaments, right, second letter. Again, is this Vav. And then we have this riash. Now, let me give you the numbers for these. It's 400. Can you see that? 400 for the tab. Six for the vav. And 200. Let's not count the noughts. 10 equals 12. What is 12? Government. 1 plus 2 equals 
three, it's God's signature. God's signature uh, for you and I, he's put his autograph on it, his signature. If you have a sign here, sign here, he's signed. It can't be scrubbed out. So when he says ornaments, he's talking about, we're going to deck you. What? Deck you with the kingdom, with God's order. And it's that number 12. Okay, quickly, quickly. We have to go backwards. We're running out of time. Okay, now, the, the third letter I want to go into is this word gold. Uh, I'm going to have to rip a piece of paper off here. It's an unused root meaning to shimmer figuratively something gold colored yellow. I used to sing uh, when I got drunk, I was singing Beatles songs. And one of the, when I drunk in the spirit, uh, when I got filled with the new wine, I began to sing these secular songs. Oh, oh, you say, John, that's not holy. Yeah, but don't you see God was using a secular song with the anointing on it and the religious spirit cannot attach itself to a secular song it cannot it cannot attach itself to a secular song a religious spirit loves something that is religious <laughs> and i used to sing we all live in a yellow submarine yellow submarine <laughs> okay it's something deep deep He's taken us deep, church. He's taken us deep. Come out of the shallows. Come out. Let your ankles, let the water come up to your knees. Let the water come up to your waist. Let the water come up to your chin. Let the water carry you. Flowing from the temple. Ezekiel. Ding dong. So it's that number 12. Government. Kingdom of God. Government. I will accomplish for you. Amen. 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 Now, quickly. Quickly, quickly, I have to do this. Quickly, quickly, John, quickly. I talk to myself. And I said to myself, we have 15. Uh, i got to get this right. <laughs> uh, what was the other number? 12. Now, there's another number here I had written down. I didn't finish that last letter, 14, but if I just quickly go over that last letter, it's a Zayin. Uh, it's a, a He, and it's a Bet. Two, five, seven, equals... 14. 14 is the number of salvation. We're looking at the DNA here. Look now, quickly, quickly, quickly. 15, 12, 15 is I will make, the word make in Hebrew comes to 15. Uh, the word, what was the other word we had? Um, Ornaments, 12, and then gold, 14. If I add those up, 6, 11, 1 to carry, it's 41. Do you know what the number 41 represents? 41 represents mother. We looked at this the other day. We looked at the, the, uh, the, the, the letter for mother, let me just get my arrow here. Is Allah? And uh, it's a mem. Mem is 40. Aleph is 1. Equals 41. Now, we could go a bit deeper. But I haven't got time to do it. I just don't have time to do it. But if we go for the word uh, for father... We could go deep in this. There's something I'd really love to show you, but I just don't have time to do it. Okay, so um, it's Friday, you know, it's steak night. <laughs> no, forgive me, forgive me. Um, Aleph and a bait. Two. 
2 plus 1 equals 3. You saw this. We had we did this, but for anybody that's listening, it's 44. Now, the word for child is yad. Okay, pencil's not working. It's the smallest letter. Yad. Oh. Pencil, I'm running out on my pencil here. Lamed. Oh, just stick it with me. Let me get a pen here. Let me do this with a pen. Yad. Lamed. And, uh, um. So, 10, 30, 4. to Dalit, that last letter, equals 10, 40, 44. It's when these two come together. Now, we could, I could take it a little bit deeper on the, on the 41, but we've, we've run out of time. But do you, do you understand the... Isn't it wonderful when you get into it? I just love it. I love it. I love it to, bet, to bits. Yeah. What are you saying? Uh, this word uh, cognates in the Arabic, the word gold. And it occurs about 385 times in biblical Hebrew and in every period. Amen. Amen. Thank you, uh, my assistant there, Kimo, for that extra stuff. But don't you see, let me go back to the verse. Uh, we will enhance your beauty, encircling you with our golden reins of love. I'm reading from the Passion Translation. You will be marked with our redeeming grace. It's your DNA. That's your DNA, church. Your DNA, 41. 4 plus 1 equals 5, which is Grace. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that a ding dong, a boing, a hey, and a ho? Let's go to the reading. Uh, I'm way over time. There is something about a life of grace that marks us. Not only has God redeemed us by his tender mercy, he strengthens us by the power of his grace. This love, this power, to rise above difficulty begins to define us. We carry ourselves differently. You should. If, you, if you're royalty, you should have your head up high, not your head looking down. You cannot drink with your head down. You can lift up your heads. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be lifted up, ye everlasting doors. We carry ourselves differently. We speak differently. We walk with ease through trials that normally would overwhelm us. <laughs> um, the surging power of the Spirit lifts us high. So we soar above temporary pain and pressure. God's grace enables us to do what he calls us to do. As we find pleasure in him, by the way, that that uh, hay is a number five, that double hay that he put in uh, Abraham's name and Sarah's name, grace. Uh, God's grace enables us to do what he called us to do as we find pleasure in him. Those that delight in the Lord, he gives them the desires of their heart. He gives us the ease, the wisdom, strategy to do what stirs in our hearts Doors of opportunity open and favour finds us at every turn. Let the favour of God find you right now at every turn, no matter what situation you're in. Right now, let the favour of God, let the grace of God come upon you right now. Receive it right now. Ding dong, boing, hey and a ho. <laughs> yes, his grace is sufficient to overcome every obstacle. Everything you need to walk in victory is already yours. Let me say it again. Is already yours. Align your thinking with his promise of grace. 
This is your portion, and he will not deny you. Amen, amen, amen. Come to the throne of grace in time of need, the book of Hebrews says, or the epistle to Hebrews. Let's pray. Father, let your gift of grace characterize our lives. Anoint us with the ease and confidence we need to fulfill our destiny. Cover us with the beauty of grace, so we will flourish in every good work. Strengthen us when we're weak. Sustain us in trials. Encourage us and fill us with hope. Our hearts overflow with thankfulness. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We want to tell you that we love you. Thank you. Have a great weekend. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you and grant you ding-dongs and boings and haze and hoes.